So here we go. This is the uh, little Banggood Mini. Banggood. I think it's a Diatone number 18 frame. It's a it's a fiberglass frame. Can you tell us what you've actually put in it? Uh, I'll just I'll run through what what I've added to it. Um, I'm using those RCX motors. They're the 1806 uh, H motors, which yep. are the new high power motors. Okay. Uh, I still haven't tried them out, but they're supposed to be really good. Um, BMS did a video on that, didn't they? Yeah, they could have. <laughs> you might want to look at that. Um, I'm also using the RCX 10 amp uh, speed controllers. They're they're pretty good. Um, they've got like a little heat sink there, and they're quite big for the for the 10 amp rating that they've got actually. So I think they'll be they'll be quite good for this um, for this model. Um, I've actually fitted with a, a Nazi 32 acro board. Yep. So you could, might be able to see that in there, and it's quite an, a neat little board. Um, you know, I've used the standard control, uh, standard receiver, so I've had to solder the wires on on the end. I didn't want to put the end, uh, you know, the end breakout board there because it sort of might come out a bit wide. But it was quite easy to do that. Uh, pretty happy with this board actually. Uh, I've used um, instead of using Base Flight, I've used a, a program called um, Clean Flight. Okay. So it's kind of like a hacked version of Base Flight. Uh, so what does that actually it's, do? It's got a lot of extra features that haven't been released in Base Flight yet. So what I've actually done is put this. Uh, this sonar device on the bottom so it actually okay. supports sonar and I've actually made these little arms on my 3D printer just um, so that it could sort of uh, keep the sonar off the ground now the original ones that come with this model I think um, they're basically just standoffs yes that's right and I think if you had a hard landing with a screw in the top you probably maybe yeah, snap I, the arm I, I reckon half. they're going to snap it easily there's yeah. too much leverage isn't it so so probably do well get rid of this hole and just make up something like that um, it's not going to cause too much so you drag. haven't flown this yet haven't flown it. This is actually, uh, we just got the prop spinning about five minutes ago. So we're happy that it actually will work. And I haven't fitted the FPV gear. I've got that at home, um, just haven't fitted it yet. So that'll be the next flight. But I just wanted to try this out and I want to try out the uh, the sonar. So just quickly before we um, we take this up for flight, I just want to mention this this frame does have an integrated power distribution board. Um, look, I have, I've tried to make full use of it because I, I really hate soldering wires to other wires. So I've actually soldered. Um, they're they're in like a really awkward spot. There's some there's some pads there and another set of pads there. So I've actually soldered soldered the motor to these ones and the uh, ESC to these ones. I just sort of wrapped the wires around. It's not. It's kind of really an awkward um, position, but it's still a lot easier than trying to solder wires solder okay. wires together. And I was able to pull um, some you know the power lead off that one. So so it would be nice to have a separate uh, set of pads for the power lead. Yep and some separate pads for all the other things like the the cameras and things like that yeah but you know like it with a little bit of fiddling around you can use the same pads okay so anyway just thought i wanted to mention that um all right so, so all in all are you happy with the build at this stage i'm quite happy with it quite happy with the frame you know what i mean i'm, I'm i think it should be okay i think it okay. should be really good so i'll just get the mobius rolling okay let's see if we can arm this sucker Hey guys, it hovers. Let's take it a little bit. So how are you finding it? I like it. Why okay? It's really, yeah, it's like really stable. I like it. It's a, it's a nice board. Really nice um, setup. Alright. Um, John's done some mods again. Yeah, we've been back to clean flight and we realised that the the AUX channels weren't even programmed. Okay. So, uh, so I've hooked up this switch here. So now if I put it on the low setting, yep. it should turn on the loss model alarm, yep. which it does. So in theory? In theory, when I put it in the middle setting, it should turn on the sonar. Okay. We've never used the sonar. We don't know what's going to happen. It could just go skyrocketing out into the moon or so something. How, how, so how does that actually change the NASA? 
Does it uh, change it to... Um, yeah, it changes it to NASA-like features. Ah. Okay, so basically it will become DJI compatible once that Fantastic, happens. I'm sure... Just the... kidding, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to try this. Um, it's not supposed to work well over grass, but Paul reckons it's safer because it's not on the footpath. Uh, yes, yes, so, yes. Plus we've got a few spectators yeah. there watching, so... Um, Okay. Anyway, so what we'll do is we'll we'll give this this one a shot, and we're going to hit the sonar and, and duck for cover. Okay. okay. Oh, it's not uh, arming. It is armed. Throttle stop, remember? Oh yeah. <laughs> You're right. Okay, let's get in the air. That's amazing. Look at the way it's holding altitude. It actually flies. Okay, I'm going to switch to sonar. Okay. Okay, so what happens now? Um, I'm flying without throttle. Are you serious? Well, I haven't touched the throttle since. So it is going down. Oh, it's come back up again. So if I come back... Just level it off, just keep it at forward, eight. Forward, back. Seems to have dropped a little bit of height. So keep it there? Yeah. You're not touching throttle? No, I'm not touching throttle. It's like a bit scary actually not being able to touch a throttle. You know what I might do? I might switch it off. See, it doesn't really like grass. You can tell that the throttle is actually doing something, see? That's good. You can tell the sonar's working. Take it off? Yeah, turn it off. Okay. Yes, it's working. I'll get it up over the, the uh, cement, see if it works a little bit better. Okay. Oh, did you see it drop down? Yes. Okay. Try and take a walk with it going forwards over the path. So I haven't touched throttle at all, okay? I just re better remember to touch the other controls. That's the only problem I get. Like, what are you supposed to, <laughs> what are you supposed to not touch? But yeah, that's quite, quite cool. So I'm just going like forward and back. Sorry, I'm a bit clunky, but... So I haven't touched the throttle. I'm hoping it doesn't lose too much height because I'm not going to touch the throttle. I refuse to touch the throttle. It does seem to drift a little bit though because I I remember putting the sonar on and we were at least um, 1.4, 1.5 meters high. So now we're only about a meter high. So it has lost a little bit. It's drifted a little bit. I might go over the cement and see what happens. Now it's really hard trying to fly without throttle. It's like you don't really know what controls to use. Um, over the cement, let's have a look. It's about the same. Yeah, it's about the same. It kind of does like a lot of averaging. So it doesn't immediately go up. Let's try flying over the chair. What do you think? Just go slow. Okay. So your final thoughts? Well, I think it flies really well. Um, definitely got all the right, uh, doing all the right things anyway. It's hovering well, it's maneuvering well. Probably needs a bit of pilot. But um, no, I'm, I'm really happy with the model. Uh, probably not bad, bad value for money, is it? You can't really knock it. Look, I think if you just wanted to throw something together, like fairly cheaply, I, I, I wouldn't go past this frame. You know, I think it's okay. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't. Um, I think the power distribution board certainly helps uh, build it quicker. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later. Thank you. Whoa, look where I land. Nice, I land right man. There. Nice. So, These automatically eject? Yeah, they automatically eject. I've got, just got to glue them on, but how cool is that? It weighs less than a couple of grams. So, what was your thoughts? Uh, hey, um, I love it. I love it. I reckon everyone should have, no, uh, should have sonar. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I can't wait to try this out in the car park at really high speeds with FPV glasses on. I think we're just gonna kick ass on everyone there, you know. <laughs> Scorpio, Stunt Double, all you guys better watch out, okay? <laughs> no, I, I reckon it's a great feature. I mean, for $2.69 yep. or whatever it, it's worth, you know. Um, but yeah, I reckon it's a, it's a great feature and it's really easy to install. So, um, yeah, I'll be doing a, a bit of a video on how to, how to get it all working, but, um, but look, it's fairly straightforward.
So look out for round two of this video. Yes, yes. Thanks for watching, guys. So I'll just get the Mobius rolling. Okay, let's see if we can arm this sucker. And I have fitted a beeper there. Okay. And I can activate the beeper through the three-way switch. As per such. Perfect. Works every time.